How do we start? You say, like Martin says, and we're back. And we're back. In the duck call room podcast. In the duck, and today, in the duck call room, we actually have the real duck call room in here. The real one? Yeah, the yeah. real one. Why am I in the, here? The ones that's building a duck call. Yeah. And why is Cy in here? here? No, I'm talking about <laughs> on this side of the room. Building duck call. Because me and Guy would never, never work do this together. But we build the duck yeah. calls together every day. Yeah. I got a we question. We actually ask. do that every day. Because I can't, I can't believe it. What? Did Phil Robertson actually take a day off from duck hunting? Well, here's how it happened. What? I've been hunting down there 23 years, I guess, and he has never wow missed a day other than a Sunday morning. Unless he was dying right there from sick. Right. So sickness. Uh, this has been a a struggle. Uh, to kill ducks this year for some reason, uh, and I, I just point blank at no, there's no ducks in the area. It's kind of strange for this late. And I I asked him. I said, Phil, I sure would like a day off. Wouldn't you like to sleep in tomorrow? He looked at me. He said, You know what? Sounds good to me. <laughs> I'm shocked. That's never happened. I didn't believe it when Nan told me. I said, No, yeah. this didn't happen. You're, yeah. bl- oh, you're putting my. I slept till eight o'clock yesterday. Uh-oh. It was nice. Oh, it was yesterday. <laughs> yeah. No, we're back at it this morning. We killed one Woody. Oh, they killed one today. Oh, hey, if you give him a break, you can he kill was, one duck. He was a stray. A stray <laughs> hey, come Let back. it rest. Oh, man, it's been tough. But, uh, you know, Phil, Phil's going to go no matter what because he don't want to. He's got the phobia. Just in He don't want to miss it, you know, in yeah. case it happens. But he took a day off. Yeah, he did. Are we positive he didn't just go by himself? No, he he. I, I'm he looking. Took the day I'm, off. Miss- I'm thinking back, okay, and and I remember, okay, we all went to that's when we hunted the creek up there, Cypress Creek, Second Sloop. <clears throat> you know, and he said, "Boys, I just he was throwing up." He said, "I I just can't go today." He was literally, I mean, every five minutes he's throwing up, or he'd have went. When was this? No. It's been all good grief 15 years ago. He said it, and he said he was no, laying in been his longer bed. than that, sir. <laughs> well, maybe 20 years. But it's anyway, been he longer said, than that, sir. Well, whatever. But anyway, he would, said he was in his bed laying there, yeah. and every once in a while, and he had, it, had a, just a bucket that he could puke in, and he would, <laughs> in here, in here. Boop, 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 yeah. He said, Call him tail coming they're in. They're tearing him up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm surprised. That's the last time I'm serious. Uh, out of, no, that's the only time I've ever, I ever heard him say, no, I ain't going. Yep. I had to take him to the hospital in New Mexico. He had like a, this was way back, I don't know how many years. Oh, it's been a while. Yeah. Because it was six degrees out there on the Rio Grande. On the Rio Grande, yeah. That's right. And I, I took him to the emergency room. room. He was just, I mean, he had a hundred and something fever. He walked in the emergency room. I went in there and told him he stayed in the truck. It's late at night. He walked in there in his insulated underwear. That's all he had on. Sh- shirt? He walked in there. He looked like an unidentified creature. Yeah. And the doctor looked at him and went, whoa. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hey, this was one of them talking. What is it? Yeah. He was literally hunting with a hundred and something favor. Oh, yeah. uh, but now that you brought that up, that's one of the coolest duck hunts I've ever It done. was. Okay, because you got to understand, we're on the Rio Grande River. <clears throat> you can wade across it. It's chest, uh, waist deep. Hey, you'll sink. And hey, ducks everywhere. Okay, and look, four thirty in the morning, we're throwing decoys out. And, and then we pl- look up, planets and, start exploding. Hey, and no, no, yeah, we look up <laughs> and we see mm. in forty-five minute time frame, we see seventeen different shooting stars. Yeah. Uh, burning up planets, whatever you want to call them, we seen them. That that hunt had an impression true. on you because That's you. No, 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 no. You got to understand something. There was one come over. Oh, it had an impact on me because hey, there was one that come over. Okay, just a giant. Hey, it looked like the sun going across the it sky did. at dark. It was awesome. Yeah, you know? and look, it gets right above us, and guess what? A little piece breaks off of the tail of it. Now there's a big one and a small one going across. And Phil said, boys, I don't I don't think y'all are understanding what you're looking at here. And we said, what are you talking about? He said, that is a giant planet, probably just bigger bigger than Earth, just 
one we're standing on looking up at, burning, burning up going across the sky. And then somebody said, I wonder where it's going to hit. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not the Rio Grande. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but look, you got to think about this. 17 different things going across the sky it was burning up and falling. Well, it, Size told that story about 18 times. Oh, no, no, no. When you get hey, out there, it, when you it, get it, out it there. Left, it, it, you know, that's <laughs> impressive. I don't care what you say. Yeah. There, there are some places on the earth <clears throat> that you can see the stars and planets oh, yeah. a lot better. Af Afghanistan was one of them. Was oh, it? I bet you it was. No Is it like it's the same way over there when you go west in Utah and all yeah. them states over there? Yeah, Afghanistan, I guess, is west and east. Yeah. <laughs> Well, you depends on which direction. It depends on which direction. Like you go west far enough, yeah. you'll hit it. If, yeah. Hey, if you go west, you, you'll finally get there. If you go east, you'll finally get there. But no, that, that's one one crazy thing about that about that country. It was it, the aesthetics of it all were, mm. were pleasant. Huh. And then the, about then the sun went down. And you started seeing the every, those tracers burn across those mountains. <laughs> You're like, okay, well, it's not that great. <laughs> Let me get my head down. I remember that in Vietnam. Uh, back, I, we back had, behind the Hesco. We had a yeah. chopper get shot down, and then the gunship above the chopper that was up there where you couldn't hear him, yeah. a cobra, it was just a red line, as, I mean, out of sight, coming down from the, the, the you know, space. Just, Bawr! and then you heard, Bawr! What was that last part? Hey, no, I ain't gonna say it again. <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, but hey, pretty wild. Oh, yeah. But hey, that night, that morning did impress me. Okay, I, I believe it, it really did. It yeah. had a lasting impression. It was. We locked the truck. The truck got locked. Remember? Oh yeah, and we had. <laughs> I think he locked was, the that keys was a in the truck. We're, we're calling and talking. Hey, uh, you need to call On Star. Yeah. And and they said, well, what do you want us to do? And we said, hey, look, we're out here. We're in Albuquerque, north of Albuquerque, Mexico, on the Rio Grande River, giving them our location. Okay, and talking about you have to unlock our pickup. It's locked up. Yeah, they said stand the back key, from the vehicle. Hey, and the keys are in it. And they said, well, uh, step back from the vehicle, please. And you heard, <laughs> click. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was weird. I said. They said stand back because they shot shot a beam to unlock it. That's why it was. Oh yeah. Click. <laughs> oh, on star. Yeah, on yeah. star. It didn't actually make the noise. Yeah, yeah it did. You heard. I the heard the noise. It said, "Hey, stand back from the vehicle, please." And it zzz, click. Size the only yeah. person. And we got in the truck. Radio got in the it. truck. Left there. Well, what do you think shot that beam down there? Uh, hey, it ain't no telling. Probably some deal up there in space. There's the unlock gun. <laughs> I just know how they gave it the location. Okay, that's why, you know, you know, we're in the world now. It's unreal. Do you realize we actually watched part of the Iraqi war? We did. On CBS? Where? Yeah. You know, there's a guy standing there saying, this is so-and-so reporting, and you hear. And there's a cruise missile was going behind him. Well, guess what? Hey, that cruise missile was going to a target. Well, yeah. And it was on TV. We watched it explode on the hey, little cross we, we watched it live. Yeah. That's crazy. Uh, that's insane. You that's know what? At. That's where we're at, folks. We're in the insane That was apartment. 20 years ago. Yeah. Well, I'm yeah, I was going to say, I was like. Or more. <laughs> no, it's yeah. longer than that. Yeah, 25. Yeah. Whew. That's crazy. You know, the wild, wild west. Where is everything going? It was mild compared to what we got going on. Oh, hey. oh yeah. <laughs> everything now. Just assume you're on camera at all times. Yeah. That's oh, it. yeah. That's right. Oh, they're watching you. <laughs> yeah, they're always watching. They're See, watching. I, I've known that. Okay. You got yeah. one of them doorbell no. cameras? No, 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 no. See, I, hey, I believe in the Almighty, okay? His video is running 724. 365. <laughs> okay. You ain't ever. It, no. You ain't getting away from that. Hey, you ain't getting away from that. You're always on. Hey, that one's camera. inside your head, too. I know. I'm glad. Hey. I'm glad I got his blood covering that oh, screen hey. where people can't see what I've done. Hey, that's right. Mm -hmm. hey. Yeah. <laughs> well, on that note. Uh, uh, you going to take a break? Let's take a break. Okay. And we'll be right back. I'm we'll going be right to get back. Hey. 
Hey, sometimes we're stressed out. We got the stress of duck season. We got the stress of everyday life, stress of working hard, managing land, uh, selling fishing bait. But don't let the stress of daily life weigh on your body. Whether you're an athlete, athlete like Uncle Si or someone like me just trying to make it through the day tension-free, Theragun can help. It's a handheld percussive therapy device that releases your deepest muscle tension using a scientifically calibrated combo of depth, speed, and power. And it's as quiet as an electric toothbrush. And it just feels really good on your muscles. Whether you want to treat your muscle tension from working out like stone and injury, or if you're like Godwin, you're just stressed about everyday life, there's no substitute for the Theragun Gen Four. The Gen 4 Theragun doesn't just feel good. It gets to the source of tension and releases it using Theragun's signature percussive therapy, which goes 60% deeper than vibration alone. The OLED screen and design make you feel like you're holding something from the future. Just go to their site and check it out. The Theragun app learns from your behaviors and suggests guided routines. Hey, I love it. At night, I rub my feet down. I stand on my feet all day, rub my legs down, rub my arms down when I work out. It makes me feel better. So try Theragun for 30 days, starting at only $199. Go to therabody.com slash duck right now and get your Gen 4 Theragun today. That's therabody.com slash duck, therabody.com slash duck. So, you know, hunting season is winding down. Winding down. This is, We're in the last week of duck and deer season. It's over. I know, but I, the only one I was even concerned with, this year, I hunted his first split, but after that, no. Nah. Well, you going? I, t- I took it your advice. Yeah. Your advice was you called me on the phone and said, "Hey," I said, "What y'all kid today?" He said, "One." That's okay. He said, "Don't even bother getting out of bed." I said, "You got that, Roger." <laughs> Roger, <laughs> well, I, I ain't uh, been for about Roger two that. weeks. Yep. So I ain't been in two weeks. I ain't neither. And then, me neither. Uh, then he said, "Hey, look, I've been fishing. You need to come with me, okay? He's been at your stand. You need to kill him." I said, I'll be there bail on. That's it. And then got, I went and killed and a old 48. How many? Yep. Y'all have y'all harvested. Oh, yeah. Oh, no, no. What have right, you done? That's now. the greatest thing. Look, Stone is our management man yep. mm-hmm. down management on Phil's man. property. Phil's, Willie's, and Jason's for deer. He plants all the food plots, okay? He feed, uh, fills all the feeders up, all the protein feeders, all this stuff. He puts out. Uh, Rice bran and all this stuff, okay. And then he he puts out our camera, trail cameras, okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They take pictures, and hey, what? he what? forms what he calls our hit list. That's it. Okay, after after all of this is collected, all this data is collected, yep. and he makes a hit list. Well, we had 11 on the hit list. 11? Yeah. yeah. We, had, we um, got one more. It's 12, okay, well, but we, we've already... You know, and here's what I like about it, okay? We've killed all 11 of them bucks. Yep. Okay, these are five years and older. Actually, six, they're six, six and older. Six and older, okay. Six and older. Anyway, six years and older, okay? BK's six point was like nine and a half. That's an old deer. Yeah, That's old, old deer. deer. That's a deer That's like you. That's what your 10 point was like 10 years old, wasn't it? Well, he was, they, they said he was eight. Okay, yeah, okay. I, they ain't A's mine yet. Okay. But anyway, you got to think about that. We put 11 deer on the hit list, okay, and here's the cool part. Like I said, not one person is killing them. Stone takes different people, okay, and says, okay, here's the one. Okay, that's him. Pop him. You know, Reed got a good one, okay. Willie got a big buck, old Dusty Bowen. Yeah. Yep. I got a good eight point. BK got Eat a good six point. He killed a big <laughs> ten point, you know. David Martinez just killed. You like the? Are you the point. historian down there? <laughs> uh, no, no. Yeah. I'm just saying. You just rattled them off. Well, no, no. Uh, he hey, keeps the diaries. No, no. I love it. Okay. Because look, every time we go now, like the other afternoon after I shot my eight point, I went back two days later. It was after another one. Okay. But he didn't show up. Okay. But <laughs> two big, pretty eight points did show up. One of them was two year old. One of them was three year old. Yep. Okay, now we're going to give him about three years, and then we're going to kill both of them suckers. Because <laughs> <laughs> we know where they're coming they'll be They'll be five and six. Uh, and they'll be added to the – so the hit list – That's, oh, that's oh, yeah. the – I've come to realize that when 
I, I just started deer hunting again four years ago. Uh, because we're all duck hunters, you know, nobody mm-hmm. cared anything about the deer except Willie. And, uh, but the potential for a, to, to raise nice bucks down there was, was, was there. So I just decided four years ago, I said, hey, let's try it, see what happens. Yeah. Manage it, so, let's see what happens. But the fun part to me is working the land, watching the crops grow, you know, naming the deer, giving them names. You're you're yeah. you're an excellent namer of yeah. deer. I, and not only that, then like every time you go, okay, you know what you're looking you for. See, well, no, no, you get to see all these big pretty bucks running around on the property. Yeah, yeah, that you're gonna shoot. Okay, later. that yeah. you're gonna shoot because I enjoyed watching them too. You know, we got uh, we got what four does out there, I think, and one buck. Or two bucks. Yeah, it was two bucks. A button head and a little four point, you know, young deer. Like he's probably a two year old, maybe. We're watching them. Then I said, oh, right there, right there. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, you never, you <laughs> learn so hey. much by just watching. Well, no, no, because hey, well, he, and he what you never did there, before because you, know, you was shooting he was everything spooky, that come out. And he was a young eight point. You know, he was real spooky. He would, he'd go behind them, you know, then. Then I looked at you. <laughs> big red, there's big red, a little big eight point. I said, oh, yeah. he's three year old. Big red. I said, oh man, good grief. Give him about three years and you talking about a stud. A oh, stud. Yeah. Yeah, so man. but but used to so the main thing that's changed, you're working the land and, and people aren't just shooting every deer they All right. see. All like, right. No, we've got one problem. <laughs> we've got one problem. Is there still and, and it happens to be with the with the land owner. Oh no, he's all in now. <laughs> well, oh, he I knows know. It. I know, but he hey, it. I, it's it's a it's a work in progress. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Because used to it was fill well, every two tag deer, as quick two as we deer that right. we said, hey, do not shoot these two deer. Yeah. That's the first well, deer they shot. Guess what happened? Yeah. Boom, boom. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Both of them shoot. Okay. Yeah. Well, I tricked yeah. them yesterday, so. I, <laughs> Do that, what? That old that old deer that Reed shot Jason's yeah. Jason's son Reed. Yeah. He shot a. Man, that deer is seven years old, giant bodied, you know, for this area, okay. 240 yeah, deer. pound deer yeah. in full rut, uh, gutted him, uh, cut his head off, washed him off real good, hung him in the cooler for 25 days and then peeled the hide off of him, cleaned him up real good. And, and I cut up one of them back straps and tenderized them and fried them up for Phil and Jace yesterday. And Phil said, boy, that's as tender as I've ever put in my mouth. And you said, and he's, hey, he's a seven-year-old buck. That's what I told him. I said, that's that old buck Reed killed. He said, nope. <laughs> no, no, uh, no, nope. I ain't going to believe it. Yeah, okay. Nope. And, and Jace was chewing on him when I said that, and he just stopped chewing. He said, well, you made him edible. Yeah. Yeah. And Jepico said, that's way more than edible. Said, that's good. <laughs> yeah. That's yeah. funny. But, but it takes, you got to. You got to age them, and I even brine those overnight yeah. in salt water. It made them a little okay. bit better. But yeah. man, they were they were tender, just melting in your mouth. It was good. <laughs> but that's but now we 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 set out to harvest eleven old bucks, and we got all of them and, co- and accomplished. And is there a new one? Well, one showed up from the neighbors the other day, but. Frank the Tank. Oh, Frank the Tank. Oh, Frank the Tank. But I, oh, I only got three days to get him. I don't, and he only comes out at night. So. Yeah. He's going. He's going to be tough to get him. But it's something about when you're having a hit list, and when somebody on the hit list shows up, you you get excited. Mm-hmm. You know, like but this isn't just. I mean, you named eight people. How many people have taken from the hit list? Well, Seven. You, uh, Willie's son-in-law, old old. Which butt, one? Butt Jacob. Cut. Jacob. Cut. Jacob. Oh. He killed one. Yep. He killed a hit lister, and then you got a. Uh, my my boy David Martinez, Martinez. killed his first deer in thirty years at four hundred and twenty yards. No, that was at forty yards. Oh, I thought you said yeah. four. <laughs> no. You lied to me. No, I did. <laughs> yeah, you did. You I told me four hundred twenty. I said forty. I've been yeah. telling that body four hundred twenty yards. Told shot. a whole story oh, yeah. on Monday about David oh, sure lining up a four hundred and twenty yeah. yard. Oh, yeah. you, told, you said you may have said for, meant to say forty. You told me four hundred twenty. Yeah. It was forty. Uh-oh. It was forty. Uh oh. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> fact okay. checker. Where's your fact checker fact, at? You fact checker. Yeah. Okay. So you got Reed. He shot one. Uh, Bullfrog. Uncle Cy. Si, uh, me. Nurse man. Yep. Uh, Chad, call Mike. Yeah. 
He's, if we got a bad one that we don't want, you give it to the hey, man that saved tell, your life. Hey, tell tell Chad, hey Chad, yeah. you need to kill <laughs> yeah. this one. Well, I'm serious. He goes wherever he goes. That deer walks out there, and Chad killed him. Yeah, he's a cold man. He's a cold man. Yeah, yeah. Not even where you see him. Yeah, uh, I think, yeah. He, I think, you know, he's at this stand. Tell me, yeah. He said, "Okay, I'm good. I'll get it. Don't worry about it." Like eight or nine different people. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 That's the cool part about it is everybody does share. He's you know Stone shares yeah. as well. I'm on I'm on a mission to be more like my friend Jeff. Yeah, that was your New Year's resolution. Yeah, to yeah. be selfless. And I'm I'm selfless. the same way. I've got on yeah, board on that because human beings are inherently selfish yep, to some sure. extent. Yep. You like, like I'm gonna get mine. You've heard that before. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, I'm I'm trying to be the opposite of that. Well, go ahead and tell everybody it's where a, your best crappie spot is. Best crappie? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were trying. No. no. <laughs> All right. No, we're talking about deer hunting. Uh, deer hunting. Okay. Deer deer hunting. okay. Well, on that hey, note. We ain't giving the crappie spot. We won't tell hey. anybody that, hey. and we'll take hey, That's our... another thing that me and BK, his daughter, do. Okay. Yeah. Uh-huh. I'll get on them crappie. Oh, yeah. And it's yeah. almost time. But we're going to take another break, and we'll be right back yeah. after this. What's that, boys? All right, look, so if you haven't noticed, I've been trying to live a little healthier for the past few months. Went down, started living healthy, started a diet, started working out, and very recently, I decided to start taking some vitamins, some minerals, so I started taking Athletic Greens because of that. Athletic Greens is a one scoop, dip it in your water, eight ounces of water, drink it every morning. It tastes good, and look, you're absorbing 75 high-quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and adaptogens. I don't even know what any of that is, but I love it. Your stone, you taking it? Yeah. Every yeah. morning? or Well, I was having a little, as Phil would say, bowel mischief. And it has seen, it has helped. It's helped that? It's, oh, hey, yeah. Probiotics, huh. gut health, it's got it all. Here's the deal. You want to take vitamins. You want to feel good. This stuff makes you, and here's the best part. It doesn't matter what diet you're on. Whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, dairy-free, gluten-free, whichever diet works for you, this works with it. Red meat. Red meat. Hey, if you're on the red meat diet like Stone, this will work, and this will help you get all those vitamins you don't get from eating vegetables. So it supports better sleep quality and recovery. I feel great every day. I've been taking it for about a month now, uh, and it costs. It hardly costs anything. It's less than three dollars a day. It's cheaper than having a whole gang of medicine just piled up and medicine vitamins and mineral you hey it's one scoop it's not all these different pills and stuff so you're investing in an all-in-one nutrition just right there for you and they got over seven thousand five-star reviews professional athletes take it it's really good stuff so right now it's time to reclaim your health and arm your immune system with convenient daily nutrition especially heading into the flu and cold season there's sick people everywhere it's just one scoop of cup in your water every day that's it no need for all those pills and all that jazz so to make it easy athletic greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune supporting vitamin d and five free travel packs with your first purchase all you have to do is visit athleticgreens.com slash duck. Again, that's athleticgreens.com slash duck to take ownership over your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance. It's almost time. Boy, well, you've been going after the fish during hunting season. Yeah. Me and Cy have been laying low. Casting or jigging? Ooh. Casting. I like casting. Well, I've been doing both, but I like casting better. Do you spider rig? Yeah. I always I still do it. That's what my dad does, and it's just funny to me when people are out there with like eight poles out. And I couldn't. I don't think I could handle eight. I just Maybe do four. four. You miss a lot when I'm by myself. Spider rigging, in my humble opinion. It's a humble one. Well, no, no, because I, I rather, I would rather the casting because. You actually rid them, you hit them, and it, the little drag to it. You just, yeah, well, that depends on that depends on where you're at and with, what you're doing. With the jig pole, if you're just sitting there like that around stumps and stuff, it's <laughs> <laughs> so so. What you missed that, you know, yeah. you missed yeah. that was with you the, the thump. Rig. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, yeah you just look, the pole does it. Yeah, then you pick it up. Yeah, but it's 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 something to have it in your hand and they hit it. Oh yeah, especially when they're hungry. Oh yeah, and you know just, what? You know, like to take it out of your hand. Talking about that, I, I realized something last year that I didn't realize. 
When what did we, you realize? I had my arm. I was long lining, and my rack in the back of my boat. I can set my arm on the poles, and that fish thumped it. I said, "I just thought they come up there and got it, uh-uh, you no. know, and just got it." Oh no, no, oh, no! They, they come up there and hammer that yeah, thing. Yeah, they made dough pop. I figured they just grabbed it and went. Oh. No, they do. They're mad at it. Because it's, it's moving, you know. They do. I just thought they'd just come you, up there and got it. And... If you go back to old school with cane, pole, and cork, okay, you throw it and you get on a copy, you've got those that, that just thunk. You know, because I had a place that I, I done uh, outside of Fort Polk on Bundick Lake. I did it now under a lantern. And, and look, here's the way they bit. You throw a shiner out there about four foot deep with a cork, and all they'd do is they'd come up and just thunk, and the cork would go about that far <laughs> yeah. in the water. I was talking about they'd long line. There. I know they do it to that. You know, all they do is sit there until you put a little tension on it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you get or, or they come up, when they're doing it being sneaky, they don't hit it. Yeah. They'll come up, and your cork will be sitting there upright, and then it'll lay over. Yeah, they come. That up. way, they come up and they grabbed it and moved up. Yeah, you better set the hook because yeah, he's there. Then it's. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the. But that's fit? why you, when you're you're spider rigging, you yeah. miss that boom. I, yeah. I like to feel them knocking. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've too. had bass when you you're warming it. You know, throw it out and let it go to the bottom. You pick up, make it come off the bottom and do this, and then they hit it. Well, hey, I've had a mate, might near took it out, took it away from me. I like the lost rod and reel. <laughs> so it's just, wham, it's golly. Yeah. You know what the fish said when he swam into the bank? No. Damn. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> <laughs> another favorite one, boy. Another, <laughs> he, oh, Johnny G's. He's full of them. He's full of them, boy. Yeah. He's got them all. <laughs> Talk about that. Look, hey, there was two divers. It was in Kentucky. Big Lake, Kentucky. I don't know what lake. Kentucky Lake. Kentucky Lake. Well, it may, well, I don't know. It may have been. But anyway, look, they got the twin uh, tanks on their back. Oh, yeah. yeah. And they're inspecting the dam. Yeah. So they go down, you know, and they, and they got a big light thing turned on, you know, and they're actually, they just go down so they touch it, and then they turn the light on and start, you know, checking checking the dam, make sure it ain't cracking or whatever. I don't want that job. <laughs> and No, no. And they both. They both look at each other, you know, and he said, yeah, yeah, and I used sign language and tell me, I feel weird, it's like I'm being watched. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, they turned around and shined the light. The Loch Ness. Well, hey, no, no, when they turn and shine the light, there's six catfish, okay, and they're, hey, the bubbles, they started, they started slowly de- Going up, yeah. Okay, because you know they come walking out of the water and taking off their tanks. The guy's there, and he said, "You ain't been down but five minutes. What's the problem?" And they said, "Uh, we're done." And he said, "Oh, you couldn't expect it. You couldn't inspect five feet of it in that length of time." He said, "Oh, we're not inspecting anymore. We're done." <laughs> Where did you hear this story? No, 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 no. It was in in a newspaper. I've heard this story since I was a okay, kid. Okay, look, yeah. yeah. What they saw was they saw like Whoa. six catfish that could could swallow them and them two big tanks. <clears throat> Do you think a catfish would eat a human? Yeah, if they're big catfish, enough, yeah, they're they, they, catfish eat anything. <laughs> they, 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 they eat anything. <laughs> yeah. right. But anyway, it was six of them behind them because they just felt I feel like something watching me. And when they did turn the light on them, it was six of them bad big boys. Okay, and they he said, hey. They could have swallowed me and these tanks whole. Mm. He said, so that's, that's why. I, no, I ain't going back down there. <laughs> but I did see on the Amazon River they caught one. Big yellow catfish. Yellow and, and brown. It took three men. They hold them in shallow water. It's got One's got his head. One's got the middle of him. And one's got his tail. Okay. And I'm telling you, this thing was as, as from me to you. You know what I've learned? Three grown men, big men, yeah. are yeah. holding this thing in their arms. And I mean, hey, you know, this thing had big around. You know what I've learned mm. doing this podcast? Cy never forgets an animal. 
Oh, no, no, no. Whether he oh, saw hey, it in person or in a picture. Oh, no, 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 no. Last no, night. No, no. <laughs> Last night. See? They don't know what it is. Okay. Uh, and this was on the news. Some lady goes outside. It's up north somewhere in Pennsylvania, I think. And she hears something, and it's under her porch. Well, this lady loves animals. So whatever this thing is, go look. They don't, they don't even know what it is yet. What does it look like? It looks like a... Uh, what is that, uh, chubacabra or whatever it is? Chubacabra. Oh, yeah. Obviously. Hey, look, the thing is, that just huge, look like a dog? Huge ears. Look at it. Here's what was funny. See if you can find it. He's got one blue eye, and I think the other one may be blue, but I think it was blue and brown. And it, it was weird looking. They don't, they, you know, they, they're trying to get a, uh, 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 biologist. No, what's the people that work on dogs? Veterinarian? Dog, veterinarian. Pet, dog yeah. catcher. Yeah, no, no, veterinarian. <laughs> Groomers. Yeah, no, they're, they're trying to figure out what it is. They don't know what the animal is? They don't know what it is. They, they said, I think it's some type of coyote because it's got pro- big old ears. Probably a coat, eat up with a mange. Well, it may be, but I he looks you. horrible. He looks horrible. But that was on the news last night. They caught him. Well, that woman brought her in the house to warm him up. He looked was he looked like he was cold, so she yeah. brought him in the house. You I get eat doing things I like that. I cannot find that. Well, it was on the news. Don't bring animals. But in I your type house. in. I ain't making it up. Wow, it was on the news. Type in Pennsylvania woman. I typed uh, it in, and I got this article: driver who stopped to help when truck carrying 100 lab monkeys crashed in Pennsylvania. <laughs> That's what it is. And put her hand in one of the cages. Says she now has cough and pink eye after one of the monkeys hissed in her face. There's monkeys on the loose in Pennsylvania. Oh, uh-huh. Monkeys on the loose in Pennsylvania. Oh, they hey, you heard it here first. You know, Dan saw a monkey. That's right. Down on Phil's property. Hey, hey wh- what? A white one with no, black a face black or mo- a uh, black monkey with a white yeah, face? Yeah, black monkey with a white face. Yeah, skunk. Uh, hey, and guess where he saw him? <laughs> he saw him in a persimmon tree. That's right, in the top of a persimmon yeah, tree. Persimmon tree. That's okay. a good place for a monkey. Except, hey. Know. Stone went by there the next day going hunting. Okay. And he seen the same monkey, but it wasn't a monkey. Raccoon? Possum. Nope. Possum. It was but it was a black possum. Yeah, it was a black it possum. It was a big possum. With a white face. Black possum with a white huh. face. Right. Well, no monkey. No monkey. Well, if you're in Pennsylvania and you watch out fail. for the monkeys. There's three of them still on the loose. Right. Watch out for the monkeys. The yeah. other hundred were apprehended. Hey. Yeah, don't, I hope they don't do a touch them. You'll get hey. pink eye. Whatever that thing is, I hope they do a follow up because I want to know what it is. Uh, you need to That's find right. that that article. Yeah, I, I saw right. that. I actually looked at the news feed the other day. They got you looked a, at the news. They got a thing on your phone that says news. But let me tell you something that it ain't news. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, that's news, but Preach. it ain't news. Preach, it, it, it's it's idiot. What, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just nonsense. It's idiot, idiot. What? A, it's nonsense. Real syncrasy. Nonsense. You want a good laugh? Look at the news feed on your phone. <laughs> what are they talking about? Oh my! Gosh. Just all. If whatever comes up, it, it's, but, hey, it's this, whatever that was is believe. real. It was on the news. I'm telling you. Woman rescues animal, and no one can work out oh, what yeah. it is. Yeah, I found see. it. Oh no! Oh, I found it. He found it. I tell you, I didn't. This make This is up. better than the monkeys. Yeah, I didn't make this up. Okay. I'm trying I'll to find a picture. Of the and monkeys. right after this break, we'll tell you what it is. That's right. We're gonna, <laughs> hey, we're gonna like bring, We're gonna bring it up here once JD finds it. Look, so Movement just came out with these new blue light glasses. And if you're staring at a computer screen all day, staring at your phone all day, your eyes start to hurt. So they made these. Look how stylish I look. I'm basically a supermodel. So you can wear these, and it protects your eyes from the strains of blue lights from screens. It makes you look good, too. And with Valentine's Day right around the corner, Finding the right gift's tough. That's why our friends at Movement with watches and glasses have already done the hard work for you with a huge site-wide sale. Si, that's a good-looking watch you got. That is a good-looking watch. You got one or two Movement watches, don't you? I do. You wear them every day. They look yep. good. 18-karat fine jewelry pieces and special edition styles for Valentine's Day. You can save on these gifts right now. Just choose a watch and a matching accessory and get immediate 20% off your order, plus free shipping. And, hey, if you don't like it, free return. Switch it out for something else. I love it. They got good stuff. I wear the sunglasses. I wear these blue light glasses. Si, you're on time to everything because you got your movement watch. So shop for 20% off today with free shipping and free returns by going to mvmt.com slash duck. Go to mvmt.com slash duck for your most stress-free Valentine's Day gifting yet. MVMT. 
Style shouldn't break the bank. Join the movement. That's right. Join the movement, boys. I think it's a a a, a deformed coyote with mange. Yeah, I really do. Because well, he looks hard. I typed in unidentified. Yeah. And it said animal found in Pennsylvania. There you go. There <laughs> oh, you go. Oh, oh, he. Ugh. What oh. is it? Put it on the oh, screen. That's ugly. That sucker's ugly now. I'm Put telling you. Put it on the screen. I'm trying. I'm trying. I'm trying. He's gross looking. Yeah, he's not pretty. Yeah. I told you. <laughs> Look at his stupid eyes. Blue. Oh, it went away. Oh. But at least it's got a nice leopard skin. It's a deer. What in the world? It's a deer. Oh, where'd that come from? Looks, that that ain't a, him. That's him. That's it's a, a lion. It's a giant chihuahua. Oh. Oh, he's laying on a leper skin. It might be a chubacon. Well, it, whatever it is, it has the mange. It has yeah. the mange badly. Yeah. yeah. Coyote. It's a coyote. I Probably think it was here about that long. Yeah. I mean, you think it's a coyote? coyote? Dear people of Pennsylvania. Well, they didn't identify it yet. They just, all I know is it's a weird looking animal. It with is. Blue eyes. Both of them were blue. I thought one, I told you one. I think was. that was just the reflection of the camera. Nope. <laughs> no, no, I just look like I look like nope. ocean water. Unidentified right. animals. Yeah. Hey, I have something I want to talk about. What? I had two young men come in the store the other day, and they said they really like the podcast, and they really like when Coach Stone uh -oh. is on the podcast. Yeah. <laughs> and they told me of Have we covered the games you used to play with in PE? Coach Stone. I, I don't know. We might have. Does anybody here know the, no. the, of Coach Stone? I think no. the people need to hear about well, Coach Stone's days. Yeah. Well, I'll tell you. Oh, back before uh, I got the duck call gig, before Jay Scott Famous quit working. <laughs> and, which I'm and glad I, he and did. That got it. That <laughs> got it. He worked out for you. Yeah. Well, it worked out great yeah. for me. Yeah. Uh, before I did that, I was uh, Coach co Stone. coaching. At the local middle school, you know, football, basketball, pretty good gig. You know, had PE class, you know. Mm -hmm. And uh, I used to play these, I uh, played dodgeball when I first started. But That's somebody it. got hurt. You know, the principal called me in there, the parents, yeah, yeah, you know, griping, complaining. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody. And so the principal said, okay, you can't play dodgeball anymore. I'm like, so, real so the next day we played slaughter ball. <laughs> oh, there you go. So these two so guys. I changed the name from dodgeball to slaughter ball. Okay. Well, about a month later, somebody got hurt. Principal calls me in there. Look, you can't. No I thought, I, thought I told you not, not to play dodgeball anymore. I said, well, we don't. We're playing slaughter ball. I changed the rules, you know. Yeah, that's safer. He, he just, he's just staring me down. I'm like, oh, what are you going to do? <laughs> so. <laughs> so they well, shut that down. Way. So then we went from slaughter ball to shoot the ducks. Yes. Well, that, so then all the kids line up on the baseline in the gym, and I, I, you'd have five hunters. Five hunters had a, each of them had a ball. Well, they take off running, take off running across the baseline, and they trying to shoot the ducks. Wop wop wop. That ball hit. You know. Well, guess what. Back in front of them. Somebody, done, him. somebody <laughs> done a headshot. Hey, you, oh, you, yeah. You sound like me, except I wasn't no coach. I was just in school. Oh, I was man. Always the it, it, was, it was high quality entertainment. <laughs> hey, there it is. Yeah. Hey. So these two guys, they said, yeah, as kids, we thought uh, it was a bunch of fun. Looking back, Coach Stone just wanted to throw dodgeballs at us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they yeah. loved it, though. Oh, yeah. they lo All of them loved it, All except right. the one that got hit in the nose. <laughs> well, duck. You know, hey, be coordinated oh, and duck. We had so much fun in there. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, had a ton of fun. I I think you'd be a fun coach, especially oh, yeah. if you played dodgeball every. Well, day. look, my my favorite part about about coaching and teaching was when I got to the um, I I taught a special needs class, and th those kids were near and dear to my heart. And I made when they came to my PE class. Number one, I made dang sure that nobody bullied them. Mm -hmm. or they was about to be made an example out of. And number two, I made them my assistant coaches. I gave them a whistle. <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's, hey, that's pretty sharp when you think about it. You're an assistant coach. Here's and if point. somebody said one, yeah. one cross word to them, you know, they were made an example of in front of the rest of them. And they ended up policing themselves. 
That's it's, awesome. That's the military way, you know. Private pile, private pile messes up. Everybody pays for it. Well, oh. so you so either, everybody you either got to right. help the guy get up to the standard. That's right. You know. you, you're a teacher, is what like. Well, I wasn't. I mean, I had PE classes. No, but you, but I'm saying you teach at people, like in anything. Now, now it all comes huh? clear. Like you're just a natural. You like to teach people oh, no. how to do stuff. Yeah, well, yeah. It all comes clear. Yes, so. Of why I like this man. Okay, when he said, "Okay, special needs kid." Okay, because he's great with kids. Okay, and old people. Yeah. You know? And he likes to teach people how oh, to no. do stuff. That, oh, like David Martinez yeah. killed yeah. his first deer yeah, in 30 fun. years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Have fun. At 400 yeah. yards. At yeah. 400 yards. <laughs> I don't even know how to shoot. <laughs> <laughs> so how to be a sniper. With a crossbow. It. I love it. Yeah. I really do. 420 yards with a crossbow. Yeah. That's, now we talking. Yeah. But anyways, uh, yeah. And so you you remember what those kids looked like? They, were they oh, grown I, men? They were grown men. Oh, good night. Oh, the, hey, they were grown men with money because they came in and they I, were I rigging out. their boat up. <laughs> and I was like, and then they started talking about Coach Stone. They're like, yeah. man, we love Coach the podcast Stone. with Coach Stone. Oh, we had a big time back in them days, I'm telling you. Um, you know, that, that was part of my deal. I wanted uh, those kids to have a good experience. Well, you leave a good legacy. Well, yeah, they remembered that, you. Okay, because look, I, I I remember some of my my teachers. Okay, they were very instrumental in in uh, making me who I am today. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I was a horrible student, but they they did a lot, and even with me being a horrible student, they done a lot. Uh, you know, who, of, who was your favorite coach growing up? <sighs> Shout out to Coach Bristow, wherever you are. Uh, probably Coach Sagres. Head, co head, head coach at uh, uh, the high school. Football? And Vivian, yeah. yeah. Oh, so speaking coach. of football, um, we had the LSU, one of LSU's quarterbacks in the blind the other day. Which one? Oh, uh, oh Brennan. Miles Brennan? Miles Brennan. So, Cy calls me, and he hears Cy talking. So, <laughs> he, he's, uh, he said, is that Uncle Si? I said, hey, you want to, I'll put him on speaker. You want to talk to him? And Si proceeds to tell him a 10-minute story. Well, no, no, he story. asked me. He said, somebody said you played football. What was the greatest? <laughs> what was the greatest? Oh, the monster, no, no, yeah. uh, he said, what was the greatest game you had? And I, I burst out laughing. He said, what's so funny? I said, well, we got beat 77 to 14. I said, but it was the greatest game I ever played. And he said, well, you got to tell me about it now. <laughs> that Phil from Phil's mouth said, that Sai would go in like a kamikaze. Oh, no, no. <laughs> I, I didn't have no sense. No regard for his personal well-being. Yeah, I didn't have no sense. And will, would really didn't. knock your block off. No, no. I'm serious. I didn't have no sense. It, take, it takes a special human to do that. Oh, no. I, you know, I, I, would I played. Not. I played safety a little bit in high school. I would not do that. Uh -uh. I, I was more of an arm tackler and not a very good one. Oh, hey. <laughs> so three, three or four times, okay, in my career, okay, you know, they they have a lot of pulling guards when they run in a sweep. You know, and, and they tell you when you're playing like linebacker on the outside, cornerback, okay, on defense. Yeah. They tell you, don't ever turn. Square up. Square up. Uh. Don't do that. Well, hey, y'all. They ran a play, and, and Johnny Johnny Alexander was like 6'4 and about 220, our fullback. Look, they hiked the ball. Phil put it in his gut, and I just, I mean, I just floored him. <laughs> <laughs> Lord. Oh, no, no, no. So Coach Sager said, uh, all right, come on. He went, he went in the huddle. Okay, he run another play. Okay, but this time he pulled the pulled the guard. Well, I done the unthinkable. Don't square up. Oh, I did. And hey, Bill Monroe. Okay, <laughs> the guard. He about two twenty five and fast as a cat. Okay, I I squared up. Cheetah. He hit me like this. And we're in the middle of the football field. I flipped. About twelve times, and I hit the, the grandstand after I went over the racetrack. <laughs> Made a field go. Okay, and I can't breathe because he's done knocked the air out of me. Uh, and Coach Cyrus just got me by the pants, pulling him up, trying to get me to breathe. Yeah. Well, I finally did. But hey, 
Never, after that, I never squared up again. <laughs> that that was the move them old coaches did. They'd grab you by the front of your pants. They'd pick you up and drop you. Pick you up and drop you. <laughs> oh, no. Pick you up and drop you. Oh, he did have to do it about ten times before I just. Yeah, Bill Monroe. Uh, hey. Hey, Bill. Uh, it, no, it scared him to death. He thought he could. Oh, no. He, I, I'm so sorry. And I said, hey, it's football, so I'm okay. I yeah. said, I'm okay. <laughs> just don't he keep said, your yeah. eye off, Look, He wouldn't hit him for a while there. Coach had to finally just say, hey, you going to play football? You going to get out of the uniform and go home, son? Yeah. It scared him. But he, I'm telling you, he knocked me 50 yards. 50 oh, yards. Man. I just, felt yeah, just go, whoa, 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 whoa. And I, I'm against the grandstands where you sit, you know, just. Sometimes Cy well, remembers his life. Birds and butterflies. Well, uh, <laughs> no, but hey, you got to understand, 130 pounds, and guess what position I played on defense? Monster man. Monster man. We, I, hey, we got I, was, I went to the ball. We'll just keep going. I had no, no, <laughs> all right, the only thing, get to the ball. Look, they had a, 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 a fullback that made all American, okay, from uh, Bird High School. C.E. E. Bird? About, he was about 5'4". Uh, and weigh 250. Good night. And run a 4.0. Okay, now we're just. 40. Now hey. we're in the 90. <laughs> hey, you're in the 95. <laughs> I got to cut you. No, we no, gotta no. take a no, break. No, no, we got to. I got to finish here. Look. <laughs> hey. I'm hey. just sitting here. Okay, everybody, hold it. Quarterback said, hut, hut. Okay. They cross blocked. Okay. You could have you could have drove a train through this opening. Well, I'm looking. The quarterback is fixing to put the ball in the in the fullback's belly. Five, and I four, said, yeah. I said, I should hit the I said, I'm not gonna get to the quarterback. I gotta hit the darn fullback. Look, I hit him and we watched this on film. It, it was hilarious. Perfect form, dip, okay, square it up, hit him with the shoulder, wrap my arms around him. I tackled him forty five yards behind me. After he stomped me for 45 he yards. Drug you, son. Oh, no. No, he, he stomped me. His knees and his thighs were just beating me to death. And I finally, as he's running over me, I finally tripped him up by grabbing an ankle. Okay. Got him. But I tackled him 45. I hit him behind, behind the line of scrimmage and tackled him 45 yards behind me. Si, How you do it? You are yeah. fantastic. He liked to kill me. Okay, that's what he liked to do. Well, we're now gonna, we can take a break. All right, now we can take a break. And oh, we're I need one in that <laughs> duck call room email address. But I, I love football. I love. Football. And the funniest part about it, well, just, I have to. I'll tell it again. But anyway, <laughs> Coach Sagas called me in. I'm fixing to leave high school. Okay, graduate. He gone. He said, oh, hey, sit down. Let me tell, talk to you. I said, okay, what about? He said, hey, look, you know, I know Coach I.L. We're at Tech. I can get you a walk-on trial. I, I looked at Coach Sachs and Bust out laughing. I said, have you lost your mind? I weigh 130 pounds, Coach. I said, I've been in the locker room over at Tech with Phil after a game. I said, I am a boy and a small one at that. <laughs> yeah. I said, hey, Jim are grown men over there. And I don't even know if that's the correct terminology. I should say those are grown gorillas over there. <laughs> They're big so boys. I'm not going to play. I'm not going to do a walker. You got to be a big well, boy. I, I know you love the game. I said, yeah, but I ain't, I ain't suicide. <laughs> huh. I ain't suicidal. No, I ain't playing a coach. Uh, you want to hear what the fans have to say? What are the fans Let's say? Let's hear it. I'm. I'm going to just do one because do I have to. Do it. Jacob over in Franklin, Tennessee, emailed in. He heard a story uh, about Cy, si, where you were chased by wolves. Hey, that's in my book. <laughs> it, it actually wasn't. I thought it was wolves at the time. He wants me to it'll get you to tell the story. Yeah. So. Hey, okay. Look, it's Friday afternoon. <laughs> We get off the school bus, okay, and Phil comes in and tells Mama, me and the football players are going catfishing on Red River this this weekend. And the only thing Mama says was, take your younger brother. Oh, Mama, y'all don't take him. Hey, 
take your younger brother or you can't go. So, okay. <laughs> they show up in the pickup. Okay. We get in the pickup, take off. Okay. It's about six of us. I'm in the back, you know, in the back of the bed. We go to Red River on this side. Okay. We pull up to the levee, walk down. There's a boat there with a motor on it. And they crank it up and they show me, okay. See the log over on the other shore? I said, yeah. You motor right straight to that, shut the motor off, tie the boat up real good where you don't lose it because we're going to need it to fish. I said, okay. And then you'll walk up the bank, and there's a little clearing up there where we're going to be camping. I said, okay. <clears throat> so they watched me go across. I kill the motor, tie the boat up, go up there, okay. So look, this is on Red River, <clears throat> okay. This is 40 miles from any civilization, okay? This is just in the woods on the Red River. So I'm sitting in this little clearing about as big as this room. It's starting to get dark because they went the long way around. They got to buy hot dogs and uh, uh, marshmallows. And I'm sitting there, it's getting dark, and all of a sudden, mm -hmm. you know, the coyotes start howling. You know, I, I thought it was wolf. They start howling, and then, it, it, uh-oh, it's just dark now. And, hey, this is just a round place in the woods clearing okay with brush all the way around well i look over there on the other side and one sticks his head out you know i said that ain't good then there's another one then another one so look i just see where a you can tell a pickup has driven down through there through the grass well they start coming toward me so hey here i go take off running <laughs> Run through the high grass. It turns into a dirt road. Okay, I look behind me. They have just just a pack of them. And they're chasing and you? And they're chasing me. Okay. So, hey, you know, I'm in second gear. And I said, hey, they, they gained the son. You better put it in third. So, look, hey, I hit a dirt road. Okay. They're getting closer. I tell them, hey, you better go ahead and put it in fifth and, and put the hammer down, son. They gained it. So, that, that dirt road runs in a gravel road. The gravel road, I take a left on there. It runs into a paved road. I take a left on that. You know, and hey, I got on a pair of kids' tennis shoes. Okay. So, I am, if I had had a coach, like old Coach Stone there with a stopwatch uh -huh. from start to finish, I would hold every running record from the 40 yard dash to the 10 mile marathon. <laughs> <laughs> okay, because hey, look, marathon. they done chased me, and I'm talking about I done, you know, I finally, here I am, I'm coming up to a four-way stop, okay. Good grief, you know, man, it's hot. Yeah, you know, you know sweating. I'm talking about, good grief, boy, it's, it's too hot. And all of a sudden, I took a deep breath, and I said, yeah, I smell burnt rubber. <laughs> I said, I said, uh, some farmer must have uh, pushed some brush up with a dozer, clearing the field, and he threw a tire on it and set it fire with diesel and was burning, the, you know, burning the brush top. Obviously. And I said, but hey, <laughs> you know, I'm getting sweating. I'm looking, and I'm smelling smoke, you know, burnt rubber smoke. And I look down, <laughs> and my kid's tennis shoes are on fire. <laughs> Okay, so I, I just, it was lucky. It was a ditch there, okay, on the side of the road. It rained, okay. I just went over and stepped in the ditch. I psh, psh. <laughs> <laughs> had to put them out. <laughs> okay, look, the only thing that's not true about that story is, okay, it didn't catch on fire, but look, it was, I had done run so fast and so far on that asphalt that when I was walking on it, it was, <sighs> The rubber on my to the road. Were, 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 you know. You ran started. so fast, you melted your I shoes. I melted my tennis shoes. <laughs> Monster that's the man. Only, that's the only thing that, hey. I but, thought you like was going to say I, I didn't I, tie the boat up. No, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. But anyway, hey, they wasn't wolves. They was coyotes. Yeah. Okay, that happened twice. Okay, me and Phil duck hunting one day. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I'm serious. That happened twice. We're ducking. Yeah, not once. Right? She's on fire. Look, we had done killed a bunch of ducks, a bunch of ballards, okay? Mm -hmm. We're chest deep in water on the edge of a, a, a old old river on Red River, okay? Uh, 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 old river just, you know, changed current. It changed current. Oxbow Lake. Yeah, Oxbow Lake. So anyway, we killed a bunch of ducks, you know. We got them on their back. It gets dark. We're going through the woods, you know. Well, hey, guess what? They smell that blood in coyotes, so they get to chase us. 
Yo, Phil said, how many sheds you got? I said, well, hey, I ain't got much. I got three or four. Well, we done shot them all ducking, yeah. <laughs> so, hey, we're going through the woods out there, yipping at us, following us. Every once in a while, we just raise up and just boom, boom, boom. I tell you, well, they was out. Yeah, but they literally chased us out of the woods. So, hey, that was back in. Look, we would get on the bus in the morning to go to school. We had about a 30-mile drive. Mm -hmm. The farmers had hired, they'd got so bad, okay, the farmers had hired, hired trappers to come in, poison them and, and trap them. We'd come driving by, and there'd be 300 that they'd caught the night before hanging on, on a fence line. Just 300. Good grief. <laughs> okay, they wasn't, look, they wasn't tack a, 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 like a calf or a, a sick cow. They were pulling down grown bulls and killing them and eating them. Mm. So there's three, four hundred to a pack. That's terrible. <laughs> I don't know. No, it was rough, boy. But they couldn't catch hey. the monster man. No, monster man. man. <laughs> well, I had I a would, few more emails, but... I would have held all the records, I'm telling you. <sighs> you your storytelling was on uh, Cy Robertson level oh, today. There'll never yeah. be a better storyteller. Well, we, when he got on the football set, I just, we got one email world. today. Hey, yeah. Man. Hey, they're true, 95%. 95%. Well, we'll cover some more emails next time. Even, hey, Little Debbie Ice Cream. Oh, it's a bunch of it. Little Debbie Ice Cream. I'm just going to oh. go ahead and cover this. That's it. They're doing all of them real quick. I'm talking honey buns, zebra cakes. Oh, goodness, they're doing them all. Zebra right. cakes. We had some fans. Good Lord. We ate it. them right here on the podcast. Yeah, I thought it was a roof. No, they're, they're doing yeah, more. Gavis said it didn't exist. I'm going to send us out with a little Bible verse. Psalms 139, verse 8. If I go up to the heavens, you are there. If I make my bed in the depths, you are there. He's always with you, right. no matter where you're at. Right. You're on camera, 724, 365 days a year, baby, <laughs> with the Almighty. We'll see y'all next time right here wow. with Uncle Si's Storyteller Extraordinaire. <laughs> <laughs>